Can you guys tell this is our first video? Hey guys, we are the Gourmet Vegetarians. I'm Floss, shop of Florence. Uh, I'm Nicola, not sure for anything. <laughs> not sure on anything. Welcome to our food challenge. Today we're going to be doing a French dish. We're doing a twice baked cheese souffle. Goat's cheese souffle. Goat's cheese souffle. Yeah, it's cheese souffle. It's, you know, right. Goat's cheese. We have bad things about souffle. Um, and the last time we tried to do a slightly more ambitious French dish was a creme brulee. I don't actually want to talk about it. Floss burnt it. I'm just saying of her blaming me for this. It was definitely a joint effort. She's this is it. It's time. Should we start cooking? Yeah, let's get cracking. We're combining a couple of recipes um, with souffle. So we've got stuff in the kitchens, double baked cheese souffle, and the engine rooms, double baked goat's cheese souffle. All right, let's get this funny stuff. Very important ingredient in the kitchen is our food box. Yeah. Stop. <laughs> I still really need to buy some wine to do this cooking show. I mean, this is the first ingredient for success, right? Alright, all right, cheers. cheers. Let's do this. It's gonna be a journey. Mm. Cheers. Mm. Okay, so first of all, just like Marie and Toinette, when they leak, needs to lose its head. And then we're gonna just a cheeky slice. So starting off with the most important ingredient of French cooking, lots of butter. Now we're starting. Oh good, I'm glad we started on that. Excellent. Let's start off by adding a bunch of onion, half an onion, and one chopped up leek, um, and of course some garlic, because what is French cooking without butter and garlic? Just like Nicola, the leek should be very salty. <laughs> <laughs> now, while Floss is looking after the leeks over here, I have some more butter, and I'm gonna make a bechamel. Chuck this in the pan and wait for it to melt. <laughs> <laughs> Next we've got some very whisky business. Chuck in the flour and whisk with the butter for about two minutes. Make sure you keep whisking. You want it to kind of foam up but you don't want it to actually get any colour here. I'm going to gradually pour in the milk and continue to whisk. The milk must be warmed. I just spilled it all over the microwave so that's good. How are your legs going Floss? This is very tender, they're making me cry. We have a delicious um, South Australia Sauvignon Blanc. Um, of course, only the finest Sauvignon Blanc for the French cooking that we're having. It's from Winesmiths. I'm sure it's very good quality. Um, and it gives us a warning that your pour could be more than you think. So, we're just getting 80 ml of this. Oh, wait, Floss, sorry, that's the wrong place for it. Just <laughs> open up. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's rancid. <laughs> um, anyway. We're getting a, a nice third of a cup of this, um, and then we're putting it in with our leaves. I'm going to just let it simmer for another two minutes. little trick is butter your ramekins thickly, pop them in the fridge, and leave them for about half an hour before you fill them up and put them in the oven. <laughs> but add the um, cream to the leek mixture, and then you're going to let that thicken for about five to ten minutes. Whisk this. Cheese. What is that? What is. I don't think this is quite right, but I'm just gonna. Oh shoot, we're being filmed. The reality oh. of cooking shows? They're all eating the goat's cheese behind the camera. Alright, so then take the bechamel off the stove and get in all that goat's cheese. Goodness! The whipped goat's cheese and about an eighth of a cup of. Um, just a little, a little sprinkle and around about a quarter a cup of assorted herbs. We have parsley and chives in here and then just stir it all in and the goat cheese should nice really nice. I mean melt really nicely. You gotta beat out the eggs real good. <laughs> <laughs> it's a very small bowl. Just a soft piece. That looks pretty soft to me. Perfect. Slodge, slodge. And it goes. Floss, it's leaking! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, next we're gonna add this lovely leek puree into our bechamel goat's cheese mixture. And then just whisk it all up. Um, Alright, so now we have our final stage, which is basically adding in the rest of the, well, what would be Grana Padano if we could afford it, but we have Parmesan at the 
us, we're budgy. Budgy. We're bougie on a budget, is what I was trying to say. <laughs> cool. We're just parrots here. <laughs> parakeets. Nicholas definitely loud enough to be a parakeet. Um, and then we add the egg yolks. I'm gonna pay for that later. <laughs> and basically, you wanna beat this up real, real fun. And we add the final splodgy splodge, the egg whites, and you wanna really gently fold them in so you don't wanna lose the aeration. Really good aeration, I know. <laughs> I'm still laughing at my jokes. <laughs> yeah, it's really important to keep the air because obviously that's what holds up the souffle. I'm talking absolute crap, I <laughs> really don't know. Mm. All right, now we are ready to ladle in our souffle. So um, we've got our little ramekins in a tea towel lined baking dish. So we're gonna ladle them in evenly. Right, so now we are filling up the baking dish to about two thirds of each ramekin with hot but not boiling water so kind of like you do for cheesecake a little water bath we're chucking these in the oven at 165 very nerve-wracking and we're cooking them for how long 15 to 20 minutes oh my goodness i think we're getting a bit heated in here look at them they started popping so this is the first bake that we've done here this one bit flash and the souffle is released oh, into its cage. That's beautiful, darling. <laughs> That's gorgeous. All the cream, all the cream. Oh gosh, great spillage good. boss. Good, good. All right, baked. twice Most baked souffle. Oh yes. Perfect. Our dinner guests have arrived. They get to watch this crazy <laughs> process. <laughs> oh no, cream oh, everywhere. Good. Chaos. Very. Guys, I think we've done it. We have made souffles. Not sure if it's cooked or not yet, but I guess we'll soon find out. Here is our little photo setup with our beautiful double baked goat cheese souffle. Bon appetit! Bon appetit! Uh, just well, you guys. Cheers! <laughs> 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 <laughs>